no more boom boom for this one. All right, so I have a plan. Set my coffee down here. I saw it. There's something, something on the ground here. Okay, never mind. All right, so here's the plan. I have, apparently people think I have something against four doors, which I don't. But um, I have no need for one. I like pickup trucks, and if this was a two-door Pathfinder, I never would have done this. What I'm after is uh, what's underneath this. I made a video oh, about a year ago when I was cutting up the other one that I had. And it was the video was titled, um, Is the D WD-21 Pathfinder a uh, Drift Truck in Disguise? And the case I made was that all the hard work has been done. I mean, it may not be a uh, independent rear suspension, but it's the next best thing for a truck with a uh, four-link sway bar, coil springs, pan hard bar, and this one takes it a step further. This one has uh, rear disc brakes as well, so you got a lot of a lot of space to be able to lower these things, especially if you take the bump stops out. It's got humongous bump stops. So my plan is to lower it, and uh, I don't even know what, what wheels, are. I might even use those slots on this thing. But I'm going to keep the transmission, I'm going to keep the clutch, I'm going to keep all, the, all those doodads. This cab is getting completely cut off and is just going to go to the scrapper. I tried selling it, nobody was, off, uh, nobody was interested in it, so off it goes. I'm going to keep the core support. That's going to go on the rally cross truck. So this will be a bare frame. And that's going to sit as a bare frame for a while. Just because money, time. And I have the other Pathfinder that I still have to finish. Which uh, I'm hoping to have uh, money in the spring. To be able to uh, put the motor in. And then once the motor's in, that one's going to run and drive. And that will probably end up replacing this truck right here. This truck will be retired. Because uh, she's tired. Anyone just tuning in, this is a 1990 SEV6 five speed. I picked it up for a song. It has a blown motor. That motor's locked up solid. I don't know what's going on inside it. He said the piston came through a pan, but I don't see any evidence of that. All I know is you can probably turn the crankshaft about an eighth of an inch before you hear clink, clink inside, so it's not going anywhere. Um, yeah. I have a few things for sale off of it, but I'm not really much of a, a salesman because it never really works in my favor. But I'll be chopping the, the sunroof out and save that. Somebody can buy that if they want. That fuel tank is no good anymore. I drilled a hole in it so I could drain all the fuel out. I pulled about 15 gallons out of that thing. But what I want to do is to get back into the plan planning phase, and these are just pipe dreams for right now. This may or may not actually happen, but it's nice to have dreams. I'll pull the cab off of this, clean up the frame, paint it, obviously. I'm going to remove all the four-wheel drive guts. I'm going to do exactly like I said I was going to do in the WD-21 drift truck and uh, disguise video. I'm going to pull the cab off of this, clean up the frame, pull up the four-wheel four drive guts, remove the engine and transmission, lower it, um, and then I'm going to drop my 4.8 liter in here with my NV3500 transmission that I have sitting in the barn. Um, obviously, I'm not going to do the EFI version of it. I'm probably going to do a carb, so people can whine and complain that I'm not doing a proper LS swap, but whatever. It's my truck. Do whatever the hell I want. Um, plus, it'll be quicker to get it up and running and driving. I'm not going for magazine numbers or dyno numbers. So, carb will be just fine for putting around town. 
uh, the rear end is locked. Although I'm taking this pumpkin out and using it in my other truck, the pumpkin I take out of that truck is going to get locked and put in this. So it'll still have its 437 gears. It'll be welded. 4.8, 5 speed. And then I'm not sure what I want to do with a cab. I have a couple ideas. I'd love to do something from the 30s or 40s, like an international cab or a Diamond Rio or Diamond T or whatever. I'll have to... Uh, see what's available on market when my budget allows or or I've always wanted a Datsun 620 but they're too you know they're based on my experience with the KA engines a stock Datsun 620 might be a little underpowered so just grabbing the cab and box off of one of those and putting it on this frame would be a 4.8 liter powered Datsun 620 on a Pathfinder frame yeah, that's the out-of-the-box thinking that I kind of do. So, we'll see. I'm not sure. Once I'm done pulling the cab off of this thing, which is hopefully the, in the next week, um, all of it's going to scrap, except for the core support. I'm going to keep that. And uh, this will roll into the barn and stay inside, just so I don't get flack from the town about having vehicles all over the place, because... Around the corner, the, the rally cross truck's frame is sitting there, so it's just going to look like I have a junkyard going. Which I would love to do, but I'm kind of in a town. And I don't know how they feel about having junkyard trucks everywhere. And plus I want to maintain good neighborly relations with my immediate neighbors. So. Yeah, demolition blades, finish this baby off. Roller in the barn. Well, I gotta wash all the mud off. This thing's completely got like 200 pounds of, of mud on it. So, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. And uh, like, share, and subscribe. Every comment, every share helps because uh, YouTube seems to have an algorithm that doesn't really want to favor independent, uh, uh, pro you know, content creators anymore. It wants to go for. The, the bigger name platforms, so I get uh, lost in the shuffle. But if you guys like what I do and want to keep seeing more, subscribe and ring the bell. And uh, leave me a comment, send me some love, give me a thumbs down if you don't like it. I know the Pathfinder guys are going to give me a thumbs down, but hey, too late. Once the saw blade came out, this thing was doomed. So, alright, have a great day now, and thanks again.